My name is Scott Curran. I'm with Going Man. Today we'll be going over the Phantom 4 RTK processing steps in PIX40. After all that is done, uh, you can proceed with step two. Uh, so click step two. Uh, this will be your point cloud and mesh uh, process. Uh, go into processing options, uh, go into point clouds. Um, I unclick multi-scale here. Uh, what it does, if you have a checkbox here, it will actually process the data uh, in the one inch, half, a quarter, and eighth. Uh, if you unclick it, it will just process it in the default setting, uh, which is half the image size. Uh, number of matches per images, I leave at three. Uh, you can choose to classify your point cloud uh, for T, uh, DTM uh, if you choose to do so. Um, here you can choose to export your point cloud into an LES, LAZ, a PLY, or XYZ, uh, depending on which CAD you're trying to transfer the point cloud to. Um, I do LES, um, and then this is your 3D uh, textured mesh uh, tab. Uh, I leave it on medium at default. Uh, you can export that uh, 3D textured mesh into a PLY, a FBX, a DXF, or OBJ file. Uh, the OBJ file you can take to a 3D printer and actually create a 3D print of your job site. Uh, I would hit OK here. I would hit Start to process step two. Uh, after step two processes, um, you will get this same screen. Uh, but notice over here you do have the ability to turn on the point cloud and the triangle mesh. Uh, so I'll go ahead and turn on the point cloud. And you will get a status bar of the point cloud loading here. After the point cloud loads, this is what that site looks like without the triangle meshes on. Um, I'll click triangle meshes. Once you turn on the triangle meshes, it does bring in everything. Uh, as you can see, I overflew the site for obvious reasons. Just want to make sure I collect all the data in one flight. Um, but you can uh, edit this out as well. I'm going to turn off the triangle meshes. Um, I like to do uh, the new processing area, which is the far left hand button up at the top, um, and just go around the site where I need my data. Um, after step two, you turn on triangle meshes, I mean the point cloud. You can go in here and edit this uh, in PIX4D. If you got equipment, you got trucks, you got pipe, you got materials on site, uh, you can edit those so your contour lines do not, when you run step three uh, and you run contour lines, it does not hit the base of that object and come over top of it, which will give you inaccurate, inaccurate data on your control file, I mean contour file. So you can see these black squares here um, is the trucks I've deleted. Uh, if you want to delete something, and let's just say I want to take out this manhole in this drawing. Uh, come up here, you would click the little pencil and cloud uh, here. Uh, I'm going to put this in the unclassified layer. Uh, you do have different layers there. Uh, but you simply just put a square around the object uh, that you want to take out uh, as close as possible um, and it will turn that object red. If I wanted to delete that object, I just hit delete. Uh, it puts it in this unclassified area and now what this does is put an imaginary surface where that object was and it will match the contour lines from this side to this side across that surface. You do want to edit out if you have water in your sediment ponds or bioretention ponds. Uh, you want to make sure you edit out that water as well because um, you will get inconsistencies with your uh, contour lines here if, the, if you run water. Just the reflection. Um, so after you've edited out everything, uh, you will move into step three. Uh, 